Hello everybody, I'm here today with a weed eater, a home light brand, and the triggers broke on it, and figured I'd do a video here on how to change these. It's kind of a common problem, it's a poor design on this here home light style, but that's the weed eater that we got, and I'll get me some glasses on so I can see better. But the problem is, right here with this here trigger, it's broke down in there. Tried patching it, they did with some JB Weld, and it didn't hold. So I ordered a new trigger for it, figured get it put on here. And what we got to do first is take this cover off here, which is a 7 millimeter. It's just the one nut and you pull that off. And it looks like the whole boat's coming out for the carburetor too. Let me grab a pair of pliers here and get that on out of there. That should have came apart and that other should have stayed in there, the bolt part. But you'll have that. It just looks like that there and it goes in and we got to remove this part anyway. And that there size is a 5 16th for this so we would just tuck that out of there lay it to the side and we got a torx bit here that we got to take out which is a t20 not a torx bit but a torx screw that we got to take out And you can kind of just lay that off to the side. I would recommend sticking the bolts back in a little bit. That way the carburetor don't fall and come undone. And after you do that, we got the cable back here that we need to unhook. So you just pull the tr little trigger part there, or the throttle and this here cable just on hooks it's a little z bend in it like once you get that undone and we need to turn the weed eater over and we got these here two bolts that need to come out the one is a t25 and there's a nut on the other side but it's got a little indent where it holds it up Lay that off to the side. And a little nut might stay in there. We'll see. And this other one is a T20. I mean 25 also. Sorry about that. This here one just holds it onto the shaft here. But I want to take it out so I have a little more room to spread out apart to get the throttle out of there. And just lay that out of the way. This here has a split in it. I don't know if you can see it there. But there's a split right down through here. That you should be able to pry it apart a little bit with. And take a screwdriver and get this on up out of there. Let me grab me another screwdriver here. Okay. 
should be able to just take this up in between there and pry that apart some and hopefully that'll pop out of there These can be a little bit of a pain because it don't give you a whole lot of room to get these out. And this one's going to be a pain. We'll go ahead and break that on off first so I can see what I'm doing better. What happens is down inside there. You got this here little part and it has no give to it really and you got to be careful not to break them off so you got to get this spread apart enough that it'll let you get that out of there And like I said, it can be a pain. Gonna have to get me another screwdriver here. Or this little pry bar might work better. All right, there we go. And once you get that out of there, this here just slides out of there, the cable does. And we got the new one here. You'll just slide the cable back into it. And it twists us around there. And pull the cable back up in there some. Now this here should just slide down in there and pop into place. Just like that. Goes in a lot easier and they come out. But that just slides down in there then. You can take your screwdriver back out. And we'll go ahead and put this hair part back together. So you just take your two bolts back out and that came off there so I'll go ahead and show you on the throttle part there real quick it's her cable just goes hooked right into there like that and it just goes back up here where the slides on But get your boat down through there get it started if your carburetor comes off make sure you check make sure the gasket stays in place if not it's very possible it'll suck air and you'll end up a bad running weed eater
tighten this back down better than what it was when I tuck it out. Sorry about the camera there. It moved on me. Or I moved it. Tighten that down. You don't want to over tighten it, but and you don't want it too loose either. And after you get that, position this back in the run spot. Slide that back down on there. You got your little nut you put on. And it is really hot in here. I need to get a quieter running fan so I can leave it running during my videos. Tighten that up. But leave it so you can take and turn it. Once you get that on, check, make sure it works okay. And we can slide this hair part back together. On this hair, it just slides back over the shaft. And once you get that there, go ahead and stick your bolt back there. And I dropped the nut somewhere. Where did it go? You guys ever have one of those days where nothing goes right? Because today is one of those days for me. And that's not lining up in there for me. There we go. Once you get that, there's a hole in there for this hair screw to go in. And that keeps it from turning around on you. And once you get that in there, you can put your other bolt back through and tighten it up. And I would show you on that. Oh, there it is. Found it. Thought I was gonna have to find me another one to put on it. Once you get that nut that goes MIA on you, you can go ahead and tighten that back up. And once you get that done, you got a working throttle there again. But that's all there is to changing that. The worst part's getting it undone. Once it, you go to put it back together, it's a lot easier. So don't forget to like my videos, comment, subscribe, laugh at this one where nothing went right for me. 
But other than that, hit the notification button and have a great day, everybody. Bye.